Hi guys, it's Diane here from UK Disney Vlog. So with everyone's summer holidays fast approaching, I wanted to talk park bag essentials. I want to find out what you guys take in your park bags. I want to show you what we take in ours. Now the dream for me is just to take a phone, a magic band, and maybe my camera. That's it. I would love to just be able to walk through the no bag check and just literally take that. That's the ultimate dream for me. But as you can imagine, one, being a woman, two, being a mum, that's never gonna happen. There is so much other things I have to take in my park bag. So I want to show you what we take. Firstly, I want to show you my park bags. Now I've got some new park bags for this year and I'm really excited. So excuse me, I'm gonna to have to keep bending down and looking down, so just bear with me one second. My first is a new purchase, woo! I can't wait to use this little bag. It is so, so super cute. I bought it from Primark a few months ago. Um, it was £10 and I found it in the kids section and I think it's just going to be perfect for an evening. Just a few little things in there, the purse, and yeah, just a few little essentials and that's going to be perfect to go out at night time. Now, my park bag that I do take and I have taken with me to Disney for the past two years is this little one. It's really small and petite and we got it from Decathlon. It's got some amazing side pockets, really good front pocket, and it just holds the basic essentials and make sure that you don't overpack. I did jazz it up a bit. As you can see, I've got loads of badges on it. I've got Nathan's badge on it. I've got um, Millennium Falcon, got Adam Hatton, and I've just got loads of other little bits that I collect and put on it. So I really love this bag. It's um, perfect. It's just really small and dead handy. Um, and yet yeah, you can't really overpack it. Now, this one is a big bag. And now I'm a bit 50-50 about whether I'm going to use it or what I'm going to use it for. I got it for Christmas. And when we ordered it, we didn't realise how big it was. But I do love it. I love it. I do love it. But I think I could have a really, I think I could really, really overpack with this. So that's this one. It's the Walt Disney World backpack with colourful Mickeys all over it. And I love it. But it's huge. I think I could fit Harry inside it. It's absolutely massive. Can I go out now? And I think really think he'll have a tendency to overpack. I'm definitely, definitely taking it with me just for like maybe hand luggage purposes or if I overspend while I'm there, I can use that for my hand luggage and bring the mini suitcases home in the, in the hold. So it's definitely coming with me. Whether we use it as a park bag depends on how much we take. So these are just some of the things that we take with us when we go. Obviously, we've got our camera our camera stuff, our essentials. David generally carries the camera stuff. We've got the little mini tripods. We've obviously got the vlogging camera. David normally takes his digital SLR camera, which is quite bulky, um, but he normally carries all the tech stuff. Obviously, with all the tech stuff, the most um, one of the most essential items is a power pack with all the cables to go with it. Um, you can also get the little power packs that you can buy in the parks for the $30 and you can just keep changing them. We love this little power pack. I'm not quite sure, can't remember where we got it from. Probably got it from Amazon and I think we probably need another one because we have got so much tech to take with us this year. Obviously we've got three iPhones to charge with Emily's iPhone, the cameras, so that it's really essential to have that handy in the park with us so you can keep going and keep filming. Obviously we're also going to take spare batteries and memory cards so i'd be really keen to see what you guys take in terms of logging how many memory cards do we should we take should we take spare batteries i just don't know where to start so i'd be really interested to find out what all you guys take with us so please leave me a comment below and give me some ideas because this is going to be our first vlogging holiday so what do we need to take with us that'd be really really helpful other things we take with us i don't know where to start there's so much we always take a little first aid kit. Now, I have got some Disney first aid kits and I'm definitely gonna put these in Disney bags. So in this, we just take some basic essentials, blister plasters. 
I'm afraid you will get sore feet unless those shoes are super, super comfy. You must, must take some blister plasters. So also some normal plasters. I'd also advise taking painkillers, especially if you're traveling with children. So normal paracetamol, ibuprofen or whatever it is for you that you can take safely. I also take um, paracetamol and ibuprofen for the kids as well. Because it's exhausting, it's tiring, it's a hard holiday. It's a really hard holiday. And at some point, someone's going to get exhausted. They're going to get a headache or those really tired legs. And it's important to have all those essentials with you. So I would always take a first aid kit. Now, Disney have some great first aid on property. But for to grab and go and not have that inconvenience, then it's really important that you take it with you. I will de well, deconstruct these boxes and make it smaller so I don't have as much to carry. Talking about, oh, where's it gone? I've lost it. Water. Water. You must, must, must drink, drink, drink in Florida. Keep yourselves hydrated. We all know the secret. We all give away free ice water at all the quick service locations. Um, so we just take our bottles with us. We got this really cute stitch one. We've also got a Buzz Lightyear one. Um, and then we can just easily pour our water into it. We got this from the Disney store last summer. Yes, I have been saving this long for this holiday. I keep seeing these things, putting them away in my suitcase. And we can't wait to use these. So must drink water. A water bottle is really essential. I prefer the, the harder ones compared to the... Um, soft the, the, the squishy ones soft compatible ones i do prefer these firm ones even though they are a little bit more bulky um also i might recommend i'm probably going to get some little juices to take with us just to change it up a bit have a little bit of flavor every now and again so water if you don't take much else with you always make sure you take some water because it's really quite expensive in the parks um but yeah number one water also it's hot you go into Florida, 99% of the time you're there, it's hot and it's sunny. So what do you need? You need your hats and your sunglasses. So I would recommend if you're not going to wear ears, you must take a hat. Now we love this one. This was David's birthday present. It is the Pizza Planet one from the Disney store. And don't forget your sunglasses because it's super bright over there. Now these little cute ones we picked up in Walt Disney World a couple of years ago and I absolutely love them. They're just so cute. I really, really love them. So yeah, it's a couple of essentials. Now the opposite to that, we know what Florida's like, guys. It's gonna rain. It is. It, it's just known for it. Those afternoon storms are gonna hit you at some point. You are going to need some sort of water protection as well, unless you're really not bothered. We picked these up a couple of years ago. There are Disney ponchos. Now they are a little bit on the pricey side. We've got a couple of them and do we do need to replace them. Um, you can pick cheap ones up, disposable ones from the pound store um, that you could just throw away and then get another one. Or you could just get proper max themselves. These ones fold up really easily um, and we just take, obviously take one for all of us. Now they are really important, but do keep you dry because you are going to get wet. I also use them for the water rides. I'm not a massive fan of getting wet on those water rides unless it's stinking hot. So we'll see. Watch the videos. Do I wear the Mac or do I not? Now other things we take with us. We take little snacks with us. We take lots and lots of snacks when we go, just so we've got something to nibble on while we're in the queues and stuff. Obviously, we are on the dining plan this year, so hopefully we won't need to snack as much, but it's just a little bit. Um, so before we go to our reservations first thing in the morning, we take some snacks with us just to uh, keep us going until we get to our breakfast reservation. Because sometimes once you, from waking up to getting to your reservation can often be a little while, and my kids are always hungry. So snacks is really important other things i take with us and my mum i take baby wipes i take lots and lots of baby wipes i take lots and lots of tissues baby wipes tissues you can never have enough you always always need more of these to go with that 
The hand sanitizer. Yeah, once you've been on those park rides, or been in those queues, or touched anything, you need your hand sanitizer before you head to those amazing snacks and those amazing lunches. Now, sorry about this. I'm a bit OCD. I take my Dettol wipes. Other wipes and brands are available, but I take my Dettol wipes with me. There is nothing worse than a busy, busy park, finding a table and it being the Yeah, I don't like it. So I take my Dettol wipes with me. I'm a little bit sad. I also use them in the, <laughs> in the room. Yeah, I don't do much cleaning on holiday, but you know, they always come in handy. Bit of a spritz round. So yeah. I you do do take I do take my dental wipes with me. I have always taken dental wipes with me. Even when Dave and I used to go to festivals, yeah, those toilets are ugh. Yeah, dental wipes I think are a must, especially for a mum, and you just want somewhere to sit that's clean. So another good thing to take. As you can imagine, our park bags are very heavy. Now something else we bought this year which um, I'm hoping is going to come in really handy with all our tech stuff, is we bought these really cool dry bags from uh, uh, Millets, I think it was. Um, we'll leave a link below if we can. They come in different sizes. So this one's a 10 litre bag. So basically you can throw all your tech gear in the bag, um, your cameras, your phones, and you just roll the bag up and this is supposed to keep them dry. So that was one of the biggest things we worried about in the storms if we weren't completely covered and the bags weren't covered is the stuff in there was getting wet. Plus the water rides. Who wants to go on Splash Mountain and ruin your camera if you're putting it away? Or especially David's big digital SLR, we wanted to keep it safe as well as anything else we take with us. So we've used these, never used them before. So we'll, we'll um, let you know how it goes. They look pretty cool though. So I'm actually really excited about using them and keeping all my stuff safe. Right, obviously, sun protection. You can always must get sun protection for the kids and for yourselves. Factor 50, um, little handy travel ones are amazing. This is obviously a massive one, um, but we're gonna buy some little handy travel ones just to take with us, just to keep applying the sun cream. Um, yeah, because even if it's a cloudy day, you are really exposed to UVs, so it's really essential that you get your sun protection. On the protection side of things, this is now, this is a, a funny subject. So this friction defense, <laughs> we had to buy this last time we were there. It gets hot, it gets sweaty, things rub together. I would recommend 100% friction defense. I'm sorry, it's not a nice subject, but there it is, it's out there. We all need it occasionally. Things rub, yeah. Let's just leave it there, shall we? All the cute little things that you might want to take with you. Your ears. You can't forget your ears. We always have ears generally on our heads, so it's not something we have to remember to take with us. Our lanyards. I love taking my lanyards with me. They can be a little bit bulky, but it's something that I must always take. Now for those youngsters that want to meet the characters, an autograph book. Yeah, we're gonna get a new one for Harry this year because Harry's never done the autograph thing. He's always been a little bit too young for it and a bit scared of it. But this year he says he's gonna do it. So let's watch this space and see if he actually talks to the characters this year. Because in the past he has been petrified. So let's see. Another few little things that I take, and especially on the evenings, are things like glow sticks. And yeah, so we've got a couple of big, the big thicker glow sticks and the little mini glow sticks. I generally buy a, a, quite a large packet of these and the kids absolutely love them. And because they're so cheap, you can get them on Amazon. I got a massive pack last year, probably about 200 in. You can just give them as many as they want and they just love it for the nighttime shows. And it's just great. It's also a way of like distinguishing yourself from the rest of the crowd and, the, and it's, it's cheap, it's cheerful and the kids love them. So yeah, I would highly recommend this for all the kids. They're so inexpensive easy to use, easy to, yeah, dispose of, and just, they're great, 100% great. So, yeah, I think I might need this one, rather than the little one, judging by all the stuff I take. 
So have you got any things that you take with you? What's your essential park items that you take with you? Please leave a comment. Hopefully I've not missed anything, but let me know what you guys take so I can get some tips too. Um, I hope this has been really useful and not too long and boring. Um, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later. Bye!